Hey, good day, everybody. Today, I am going to work on the next part of the garden. We got this already finished. This part here don't have many weeds, not as many as it used to. We work on this part on the previous videos. I planted some tomatoes there. I don't see any signs of any tomatoes growing at the moment, but it takes a few days for the seedlings to appear. We got this part. It still needs a little bit of work with the weeds. It needs something to be planted in this part. So I'm not so worried for the weeds because it's not too many. If, if you saw the previous videos, there was a lot of weeds and big job, like the same way that this one is going to be. I'm gonna work on this right now, a little bit on this where the asparagus are. So as you can see, there is a few asparagus in there. And this part, this is very important for me because I was planting watermelons here. So I want to do again the same this year. Not today, maybe tomorrow. Let's get ready to work. All right, that part is looking much better. I noticed that there is a broken line here on the irrigation system. I will fix that eventually. I may have to buy a connector and just connect that to the other side of it. There is gonna be a lot of seeds from the weeds, so I'll have to keep an eye on it and keep on eliminating anything that comes up. Now I want to work on this part first. As I said before, I want to plant my watermelons on this part. Now I'm gonna move on to the asparagus zone. I'll probably leave this for tomorrow, even though I may want to do it today. Cause it's nice and sunny at the moment. I would like to take advantage of the day, but we will see, depends how I feel. And now I'm gonna start working on this part. That was a big job. Uh, it's quite tiring, but it's quite nice as well because the day is sunny. I feel alive, I feel pumped. I get sweaty and tired, and that's what we are supposed to do as humans. We, we must get tired, use our bodies, our muscles, avoid any injuries, avoid any pains. If there is pain, just stop. But we are supposed to use our muscles and keep active. So that's why gardening is so good. It's part of our DNA to connect with Earth. We are part of this world. We're composed by everything that we eat there. So everything that goes there, get into our bodies and we transform it into energy and what we are. So that's why I believe it's so important to grow your own stuff so you know where it comes from and make your body thrive as much as you can. The next step is to add some of this compost. I just filter it with a sieve. So I sieve the soil and filter all the big chunk of pieces. Make sure that I get all the fine soil here. Just get rid of this and put it in the bin. So I'm gonna grab the bag. It's quite heavy. But I'm working on these muscles. <laughs> gonna throw it like that and then later I will use one of these tools and move the soil around.
this compost has been processed for like eight, nine, ten months. And as you can see, there is no insects in there. So that's a good sign because usually when the compost is not completely finished, you will see a lot of insects there working and moving. But in this one, there's nothing. That could be a sign of the compost being ready. If your compost is not finished, you run the risk of those insects eating your plants. I added the compost. I let it rest there for a little bit more because I could see that it was not finished. And after I thought that it was time to plant, I planted the seeds and then the seeds didn't thrive. Some of them thrive and then eventually the insects ate it. I realized why it's so important to let the compost finish the composing. It's quite relaxing to come here in the garden and do some work. It's also tiring, but it's nice, relaxing. So while I was working, I thought it would be a good idea to start adding the sugarcane mulch because we're entering the summer and the soil usually gets pretty dry. The sugarcane mulch will help that soil to stay moist and protected from the environment. Also, it will be adding some nutrients into the soil. Also, I'm going to reduce the amount of water that I will have to put in the garden. I have a few specific places where I will put this mulch, such as this part, because this is where I'm going to grow the watermelons. And watermelon seeds are big. Compared to other seeds, the watermelons are pretty, pretty big, and they will be able to sprout out of that mulch and also the pumpkins they will be allowed to have that mulch around because they are big seeds they have already sprouted but still need to retain moisture in the soil and they will benefit a lot from that mulch same as the asparagus the asparagus are already settled in that spot and they are able to push out of that sugarcane mulch because that sugarcane mulch is heavy so it's usually no good for small seeds such as beetroot, kale, tomatoes because they will not be able to sprout out of that but those specific crops such as the watermelon, asparagus and pumpkins they will be able to deal with the mulch. So let's get started. So that's all for today. Uh, there was a lot of things that were done and I'm very happy with the results. Uh, we got this part of the garden nearly ready to be planted. We got this part fixed and we got some compost in there and we also got some mulch. Also, I want to mention that the mulch suppresses weeds. That's a plus of the sugarcane mulch. We got this part. Uh, same as the other one, we got some compost there, we got some mulch, and we got it clean so we can plant some stuff in there. Uh, there is a few things that can be fixed, such as leveling the soil, applying the mulch properly, but I will do that on my free time and not here on the video because here I just want to show what I usually do and you get an idea of what garden involves. And here in this part, we got the pumpkins surrounded by a little bit of mulch. The garden is looking much better. I see, I visualize the future and it's going to be good with all these plants in here. See you on the day five and thank you for watching. If you have any comments or any questions, please leave them down below on the comment box. Ciao.